Jennifer Alfonso is in the kitchen. She picks up a bottle of dishwashing detergent. She won't leave this room alive. The man walking in is her husband, Derek Medina. The video obtained by the Miami Herald is silent. Alfonso is now out of frame and Medina's back is to the camera. You can see just the top of his head. At one point, he walks out and steps back in. It appears he and Alfonso are exchanging words. Medina leaves the kitchen, walks down the hall, and then returns. You can't see it, but authorities say he has a gun. Alfonso probably has no idea she is taking her last breaths. In a matter of seconds, she'll be dead. Both Alfonso and Medina are off camera now. Police say Medina has told them his wife picked up a knife when he pointed the gun at her. Suddenly, there's a shower of what appears to be flakes, the aftermath of the gunshots. That part of the video is chilling. It gets worse. This is where Medina calmly, in no rush, walks out, perhaps to get his camera phone, comes back to the entrance to the kitchen and appears to take the picture of his dead wife he admits he posted on Facebook. Take a look at it one more time. Medina is holding something in his hands, likely the camera phone, as he walks to the kitchen entrance and stands there. As he leaves, he puts what looks like a phone in his pocket. There is never any rush, no sense of urgency to get out of the house. Medina coolly puts on his shirt. A second camera trained on the front door shows him putting on a jacket and baseball cap, walking out, shutting the door behind him. Unbelievable. John Zarella joining me live now from Miami. First of all, John, it is incredible that there is actually surveillance video inside the home, clearly a security camera meant for their security. But what does this video now mean for the police as they mount a case against Derek Medina? Well, now, obviously, the video becomes part of evidence, Ashley, and not just the video, but the diary that Alfonso had been keeping. Uh, we obtained a copy of it from the court, court clerk, and her diary reads, The Mind of an Insane Woman. And, you know, she talks extensively in here about the relationship she had with Medina. One quick paragraph I'll read. I know he loves me, and I know I love him. Just wish we had better ways of showing it. When we love each other, it's great, but when we hate each other, we hate, capital H-A-T-E, each other. Now, uh, in, in Medina's already pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder, uh, but in the state of Florida, you have to have a grand jury to indict for first-degree murder. That still could happen because the grand jury was not impaneled at the time of the crime. It is now, so that might still be the case. We talked to Medina's attorney just a few minutes ago, and he said, you know what, we'll be prepared for whatever we have to face.